We're with head coach and general manager Pat Mickish. The Green Bay Gamblers are back home this Friday night against the Madison Capitals, but we're on the road last weekend. Let's talk about uh, Saturday night. You guys were in Cedar Rapids. It seemed like there was a really good pace to the game, just it was hard to find the back of the net. Well, we had a slow start, and uh, I liked the way the guys responded after that first media timeout. And came out with a good push on for the rest of that first period and got ourselves back into a 1-1 game. And from that point on, it was just, it was a good grind. I mean, two good teams playing against each other, and you know they found a way to make a play late in the game to uh, pick up the win. A lot at stake in that game with both teams vying for that first spot in the Eastern Conference. Well, I mean, it's early in the season to start worrying about those things, but at the same time, I, you know, it's one of our divisional opponents that we want to be good against. So I thought it was a good road game. We played well. Uh, you know, both goalies played well, and we, you know, they came up with a big goal. And then on Sunday afternoon, you guys were in Bloomington. That was a tough loss, uh, one nothing, a late goal. I think with 17 seconds left. Uh, you really want to see Adam Huska get awarded with that victory that night, but just a tough loss. Yeah, to lose with 18 seconds left is tough, you know, for the whole team because they had played a good game, but we didn't do enough offensively to win that game. Uh, I thought we were, it was one of our slower games. Our pace wasn't good, so we need to uh, get back to the habits that have worked for us early in the year and, and play at a much faster pace and, and make sure that we possess the puck more than we did on Sunday. Huska's only allowed a goal. One goal in 11 of his last 15 games. What's making him so good right now? You know, I think Adam's just, you know, locked in. I mean, like, he's, he's a very composed goalie. There's not a lot of highs and lows. So, I mean, he's playing a good brand of hockey, and, you know, we're excited to have him here for one more weekend before he takes off for the World Junior Championships. You guys are going to be playing shorthanded uh, this week, and it seems like the injury bug uh, hitting your decor. Of course, Andrew Peake going to play in the World Junior Challenge. Frederick a little banged up, missed his first action as a gambler. Luke Buffy a little banged up. What's your injury report on your uh, decor? Well, we'll wait and see. I mean, there's no no certainties yet. We know that Andrew will be gone, but we're not really uh, worried about the other two. I think uh, you know they're both in rehab this week and, and should be good to go. And of course, you just mentioned it, Huskin named to the World Junior prelim roster for Slovakia. Talk a little bit about your plan moving forward in between the pipes. Well, I mean, we'll have a. Uh, Husk here still one more week and then we have Dryden McKay who's one of our affiliate goalies that will be coming in to fill in that time that uh, Adam is gone. So we got to see him at camp. He's been playing very well down at Corpus Christi and you know excited to get him down here and hopefully get up some game action as well. Yeah, he's got the Madison Capitals coming up on Friday night. It's an intriguing matchup uh, every time you guys play. What do you guys got to do successful? Well, I think we need to play better team defense. I mean, we've had uh, two games in Madison where we've given up more goals than we do to anybody else in the league. So we need to be a lot cleaner in that side of the game and make sure that we uh, worry about our transition and try to pick up the pace and make, make them play defense against us. All right, thanks, Coach. I appreciate your time and good luck on Friday. All right, thank you.